Configuring and troubleshooting the network settings for our systems is a necessary system skill for any IT professional. Using some of the most important network commands, we can easily configure and troubleshoot network settings for the device without needing additional assistance. Hello everyone and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. In this interactive demo session on the top networking commands, we will look into some of the most popular commands applied by users to handle network issues and save precious time. So stay tuned. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. To begin practicing the commands, we need to access the command prompt application using the cmd command in the start menu. Now, let's begin with the list of commands. The first command is ipconfig. This command displays the system's basic IP address configuration data which includes network information about IP addresses, subnet masks, and default gateway. Similarly, we also have ipconfig slash all command, which displays all the details regarding our device, like LAN settings, physical address of the system, IP addresses, subnet masks, and DHCP information. Let's use the CLS command to clear the application window for the next one. The next command is hostname, which is used to access the system's hostname. To verify this, let's use the ipconfig slash all command to check the hostname in the information and for sure, we have the same hostname. Let's perform the CLS command again and perform the next command. The ping command is used to check the communication availability of the destination host and the user system. For example, Use the ping command with google.com to check the server availability, which gives us the following result. Also, using the results IP address and then the ping command, we can get the same result in case we just don't have the domain name. We perform the CLS command again and move on to the next one. The nslookup command is used to troubleshoot network connectivity and find the IP address of a domain like Google and Amazon as applied just now to receive the name and address of the domain. Also, using the nslookup command and then applying the server command with an IP address, we can get the domain name belonging to the IP address. And similarly, to check the number of servers with the same domain name, we can do this and we have four name servers for Google. We perform the CLS command again and move on to the next one. The tracert command is used to troubleshoot the routing issues of the network by displaying the routing table through which the data is transmitted to a maximum of 30 hops in the network, as you can see. Similarly, you can also try amazon.com and share your views in the comment section below. Now, let's clear the application window and perform the next command, which is the ARP command. This command is applied to display the communication exchange between the IP address and the system's MAC or physical address. Let's move on to the next command, which is the path ping command. This combines the tracer and ping commands and displays detailed information as an output for a maximum of 30 hops in the network. This command takes some time to compile the full hop details so that you can share findings in the comment section. Next, we have the netstat command. It's used to display the network connection summary of the system as shown in the demo. Similarly, if we use the netstat-n command, it will give us much more details about the connection and UDP details. Next, we have the netshare command, which displays the details of where the data resources for our system are shared, and we can check them under the share name, resources, and remark column. Then we have the route command that allows us to access the routing tables and also allows us to make changes to them. Let's try the route print command and we have the interface list, IPv4 routing table details with all the active routes and the IPv6 routing table. Moving on, let's clear the window and look at the netsh command. The netsh is a popular command which allows us to view and configure the network adapters in the system. Under the netsh command, we have multiple functions for configuring settings. Let's try the show command and we have the following result. Moving on, we have the task list command, 
that lists all the currently working applications on the system with task or program ID and the memory it uses. Let's perform an example. Access Google Chrome and then perform the task list command. And as expected, we have the Chrome details in the list. And if we close the Chrome window and again use the task list command, we don't have the application active. Similarly, we also have the task kill command which will terminate the task corresponding to the given program ID in the command window. For example, let's access Chrome and perform the task list command to check the program ID. And then we'll use it with the task kill command and we can see that the application is terminated. To check our result, we can access the task list command again. Next on the list, we have the system info command. It's used to view all the information about the system from the Windows version to the BIOS and booting configuration. You can access all these details using the system info command. And the last network command for this session is the WMIC command. For getting detailed information on the ports and functions of the system like CPU details. And then similarly, we can check the BIOS settings. With this, we have completed the session on the top networking commands. If you have any question about them, you can ask your doubts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.